In this video, I want to demonstrate how to make a variable pitch helix. So first, in my front plane, I've created this sketch of a one inch diameter circle. So now I have the sketch highlighted. I'm going to come over to the curves, drop down arrow, and choose helix and spiral. I'm going to use the pitch and revolution method to define it, and then I'm going to tell it it's a variable pitch. Next, I'm going to make sure it starts at zero degrees and it goes clockwise. So now I'm going to fill in the table. So if the pitch of the first one will be 0.115. I'll enter that and I'll press tab. And then of the second one, again, I'm going to have a 0.115 pitch. I'll push tab. And that's going to go from zero revolutions to 1.5. And I'll push tab. And now I have the option to change the diameter if I wish. I'm going to keep a one inch diameter for all of these. So again, I'll push tab. And now I'm down here at number three. This time I'm going to make the pitch 0.375, I'll tab. This will go for six and a half revolutions. Again, I'll tab. And it's keeping track of the height of the variable pitch helix at this point in time. So for my fourth one, I'm going to enter a quarter and I'll tab. This will go for 11 and a half revolutions and I'll keep tabbing through this, entering my data. You'll notice, I'm just going to fit the geometry to the screen that these revolutions are all starting from zero. So this one here will go from one and a half to six and a half. This will go from 11 and a half to six and a half. And then I'm gonna go back here to five. I'm gonna put the pitch back to 115 thou and tab. And now I want to go for one full revolution. So I'll enter 12 and a half. Again, I'll push tab. And then for my final pitch, I want 115 thou. And I want it to go from 12 and a half to 14. And I'm going to push enter. We see the preview. I can alter any of these. I'm just going to move them around by entering the field information here or here. I'll double check my work and it's good. So I'm going to say OK. And I've now created this variable pitch helix. And from this helix, I'm going to create a spring. So I'll select the helix, tell it it's a swept boss with a circular profile. I'll set the wire diameter to 100 thou, and then I'll say OK. I'll shut the visibility of the helix off, and in the next video, we'll look at how we put flats on the ends of the spring.